maybe they're right. Maybe Celine somehow sold me an inauthentic bag. Hello everyone, my name is Tor and welcome or welcome back to Anthropology. All right, thank you for joining me in today's video. This one will be a bit rambly. I just wanna talk about some things that I've noticed, some things that I've just experienced, and I wanna get your input as well. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. On this channel, I talk all about things fashion related, handbags, mindful consumption, general things happening within the fashion and handbag industry. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Like this video if you want, comment anything down below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Let me know what you think. Okay, so in today's video, I wanna talk about the online authentication websites. So these are websites where you can either send pictures, send a physical you know, item to, and they will authenticate it as a third party authentication service. A lot of people use this whether they're buying something online, so either from Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or you know, buy it from a consignment store, they wanna get it authenticated. Or I just wanna talk about, are these services generally trustworthy? And I wanna talk a little bit about a situation that I just went through where I don't know if they are completely. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've been doing a closet clean out, as many of you would know probably, and I was thinking of selling this bag. I listed it on Facebook Marketplace um, just to see sort of what response I would get to it, if this bag was still, you know, on people's list, if they would still be interested in paying, either not, not at retail, but, you know, close-ish to retail for it. So I had a few people interested in, one person in particular reached out saying that they were interested in picking up the bag. They wanted to use an authentication service beforehand just to ensure that it was authentic. I said, sure, no problem. I obviously know it's authentic. I have the receipt. I have all of the tags. I have my own memory of purchasing it at the store but I said sure no problem for your peace of mind as the buyer definitely do whatever you need to do in order to feel most comfortable with the purchase so I sent her everything I sent her pictures of the inside tags I sent her pictures of the outside I sent her pictures of literally everything possible and this uh, buyer a potential buyer used the real authentication app to submit photos of the bag of the different parts of the bag and got basically like a 24-hour turnover they did not see the bag physically they just received pictures that i took of the bag now i was like it's obviously going to come back authentic literally why would it not i purchased it at the store there would be no reason for it to not come back authentic so then last night this seller messaged me saying hey unfortunately the bag was deemed inauthentic or counterfeit by this service so she was no longer interested in buying the bag i said i'm sorry come again counterfeit how in what world would this bag be counterfeit i literally purchased it at the store i had the receipt i had the tags literally my salesperson at Celine literally gave it to me like it, it it made no sense to me i was the first person to own this bag there was literally no way that it could be deemed inauthentic so i messaged my salesperson being like hey this is a bit of a weird situation i just want to like let you know this is what happened to me this person was going to buy my bag they sent it to an authentication service and the bag was deemed inauthentic by that service. To my surprise, my salesperson said, what was like the service that you use or what, what was the service that they used? And then she said, oh, we have had a few situations happen from this company. They clearly don't know what they're doing in relation to Celine bags. And there's been quite a few situations where they have deemed bags purchased from Celine inauthentic. I was kind of shocked by this because I was like, how, how can they as a third party reputable authenticator deem something that was purchased from the store as inauthentic. Two thoughts ran through my head. One, maybe they're right. Maybe Celine somehow sold me an inauthentic bag. I don't know how that would be. Two, they don't know what they're doing. They're giving wrong information. I feel like the first one is fairly unlikely that Celine sold me an inauthentic bag like I feel like there's almost like a 99.9% .9 chance that that is incorrect I just feel like they were also when I was doing when I was sending photos they kept asking for things that weren't associated this with this bag they asked for the inside serial code which I provided they asked for the maiden tag which I provided as well however it was blurry you know I feel like maybe that is what threw them off I couldn't get a good picture from the inside tag of the maiden tag but they also wanted one where it's it was like a Celine or a logo stamp this bag only has two stamps 
where the logo is imprinted. Here and here. There is nowhere else on the bag where Celine is printed into the fabric. It says it here as well, but they were insistent on asking for that and they basically said without that the bag is inauthentic. So I'm wondering now where these authentication services can pull their data from. Did they have one of these bags with them and it's somehow different than the one I have? I just, I really don't know. I've never used a third-party authentication service before, but the fact that they said the bag that I purchased from the Celine Boutique was counterfeit just raised a lot of red flags for me in relation to this application. And I like sent all the communication that I had with my salesperson to this potential buyer, just being like, apparently they, this is like a known issue for them, but as the Celine Boutique themselves, as Celine, they're saying this company does not know how to authenticate their bags. When I went on the website, it was a trusted third-party authentication service for eBay, Poshmark, whatever, but clearly they're giving out wrong information. Now, another red flag that sort of happened for me was I asked, well, what did they say? They just said it was counterfeit. I'll put up the little screen grab that was sent to me. They just said it was counterfeit, but they didn't say what about it was counterfeit, like why they deemed it was counterfeit. And the person told me that if I wanted to pay $20, I could get that reason. So my whole problem, I guess, with this situation is that these companies are so quick to give real authentication services via pictures, but there's like a tiered level where if you pay 10 to $20, you just get either yes or no. This bag is deemed authentic, this bag is deemed counterfeit. If you pay an extra 10 or $20, you can get the reasoning behind why it's deemed authentic or inauthentic. And then if you pay even more money, you can get a piece of paper saying, this bag is certified authentic based on the pictures that you sent. So I just found the whole thing quite puzzling. I found it a bit, a bit of a scam in and of itself. The fact that you have to pay different tiers to get access to different information. So they don't give that information to you unless you pay. And this sort of came up recently as well in relation to Danny O, another creator here on YouTube. She had purchased a Valentino bag from eBay. She sent it to an authentication service where they said the bag was inauthentic. She, it's like a little bit different because obviously she purchased it from eBay. eBay is a bit, you know, questionable here and there whether or not their goods are always authentic or not. And they said it was inauthentic. However, me being the seller, I know the history of this bag. I know where I purchased it from. So for this company to say it was counterfeit but not give a reasoning behind it, I thought was very interesting. And it just makes me wonder, are these companies legit? How are they going about their practices? What makes these bags counterfeit or not counterfeit in their eyes? Where are they getting this accreditation to authenticate bags? Now, if Celine representatives are telling me that they are not credible or not reputable as a source to authenticate bags, how can they then go about providing this peace of mind, providing this comfort, to consumers who are paying the money to authenticate a bag. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever been in my situation where someone has sent pictures of your bag or whatever to an authentication service that is a third party and it's been deemed inauthentic for whatever reason. Let me know if you've been on the other end where you have wanted to buy something, you've used a third party authentication service and they've said it's either inauthentic or authentic. Like I've never gone through this. I've never authenticated something before. This was my first time doing so through someone else. And I found the whole situation just very bizarre. Just given the fact that they said the bag was counterfeit when I know that it's not. And Celine knows that it's not. My essay said if I really wanted to, I could print out my Celine profile and send it to the person. And I was like, I don't want to do all of that. That has like way too much information that they don't need to know. I was very puzzled by the situation. And I just want to know where these authentication services get their accreditation or get the ability for them to claim that they can authenticate something and the legitimacy of that. It also brings into question the pre-loved market and the authenticity of items on the pre-loved market. You know, there was that whole thing recently, or I guess not super recently, but where Fashion File, um, Rebag, all of those ones that are, that are larger e-commerce sites that sell secondhand goods where they don't authenticate every item that they get. They only authenticate like Birkins, Kelly's, Chanel Classic Flaps, Chanel Ready to Wear, maybe different bags from different houses, sometimes nothing from a given house. It just brings into a lot of questions around where the knowledge for authentication comes and goes. And then also, you know, the whole thing with these websites where 
they train people to authenticate bags but then when these people were asked what training they got they said they weren't really given very much training so it just makes me it, it just pulls a lot of questions where you know people online can claim to provide a service for you to give you peace of mind because they're pulling on some sort of emotional attachment where either people they know people want it to be authentic they know people want it to be whatever but then they don't give the information to back up why they come to a decision when there is information from reputable sources that disagree with them i know this is kind of a rambly video this all happened very recently and i was just like nobody really talks about where where the people that are authenticating these services get their accreditation from where they get the reputation to authenticate something and where that knowledge base comes from people can just be like oh yeah i got it authenticated but they don't know the reasoning they don't know how it was authenticated let me know your experience with authentication services let me know if you've ever been in this situation before i've decided not to sell this bag i just decided that you know i'm just gonna use it and love it and you know go from there because that whole situation was just very bizarre so thank you all for watching please like comment subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you all next time bye guys